Hi, I'm Sarah Appleman. I have been a children's occupational therapist for over 20 years. My goal as an occupational therapist is to provide as many free or affordable resources to families who are working with sensory processing disorders. In this video series, we'll be discussing different problems you may face while parenting a child with autism, sensory processing disorders, or even just plain picky eaters. I'm glad you're here. Let's start playing with our food. I'm Sarah Appleman and today we're going to work with some fine motor skills and oral motor skills. So today my friend Slady is here to help. Can you take some spaghetti put it on your plate? Perfect. That's enough. Okay. And now what I want you to do is only put some in your mouth, but then don't use your hands and try to slurp all that spaghetti up. Okay. Just one strand. Oh, it's okay. Okay. So now what Slater's doing is he's only using the mouth muscles to help get the spaghetti in his mouth, which is really important for speech and language development and um, for strengthening of his mouth, okay? So that's some fun things that you could do at dinner time. Another fun thing is working on fine motor, because a lot of people are asking me at what age do we introduce scissors, and the truth is it's three years old, believe it or not, is about the age to introduce scissors. So you can have more if you want. Okay, so now we're going to work on scissor skills, and I tell parents, believe it or not, to start about age three um, for snipping. So I know it seems early. I tell parents if they're nervous with the real one that they could use the plastic one that comes with their like safety scissors that come with Play-Doh. So when you introduce scissors, you don't just you know put it down. You want them to work on putting their thumb up, putting in, and snipping this way correctly. Because if you go down, that's turning your hands upside down, and it's not it's not good. So. We're gonna introduce this way. And then using both your hands together is important as well for advanced skills. So Slady, if you could have picked up the spaghetti with one hand and you could, yeah, go for it. Just the whole thing? The whole thing. And then snip strands, but watch our fingers. So let's move it here and then snip away. Just like that, yep. And this is a perfect way to introduce scissors. It's silly, it's fun, and he can make awesome snips and it's easier than holding the construction paper. Perfect. Good job, buddy.